Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to discuss about 10 powerful hidden features of C Sharp. So let's get started. So today's agenda is number one value task, number two SIMD single instruction multiple data, number three stack alloc, number four index and range operators, number five interpolated strings, Number 6 pattern matching, number 7 ref returns and ref locals, number 8 records, number 9 target type new expressions, number 10 top level programs. So let's dig in. Do you want to earn $100,000 a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just 3 months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. Number one is value task. A novel addition to the .NET Core framework is the value task, which can optimize the execution of asynchronous code, elevating its performance. Value task bear resemblance to a task. However, it's a value type contrary to task, which is reference type. This unique attribute of value task eradicates the associated expenses linked with memory allocation and deallocation of the task object. So here's the example. All right, let's move towards the next hidden feature. SIMD or single instruction multiple data is a method or utilized to facilitate concurrent processing of data. The .NET Core framework extends support for SM, SIMD instructions, allowing for a high end performance in certain types of computation, including image processing and scientific computing. So here's the example. In this example, the SIMD enable vector type is used to sum an array of float values in parallel. Now the third hidden feature of C sharp is stack alloc is a C sharp keyword that allows you to allocate memory on stack rather than on the heap. This can be useful for allocating small amounts of memory quickly and efficiently since stack allocation is generally faster than heap allocation. To use stack alloc, you need to specify the size of memory you want to allocate in bytes and then you can use the resulting pointer to access that memory. So here's the example. Okay, number four hidden feature of C sharp is index range operators. The index range operators were introduced in C-Sharp 8 as a way to simplify working with collections like arrays and lists. The index operator allows you to access an element in a collection by counting from the end of collection. For example, if you have an array of integers called myArray, you can access the last element of array using this code. The range operator allows you to access the range of elements in a collection. For example, if you have an array of integers called myArray, you can access the first three elements of the array using this code. Okay, now, interpolated strings. Interpolated strings are a feature that was introduced in C Sharp 6, which allow you to embed an expression inside a string literal using the dollar and curly braces syntax. This makes it easy to include variables, method, calls, and other expressions directly inside a string without having to use con concatenation or format strings. So here's the example of interpolated string. Interpolated strings can also be used with format string to control the formatting of inserted values. For example, this. In this example, we are using the C2 format string to format the price variable as a currency value with two decimal places. Okay, now the sixth hidden feature of uh, C Sharp is pattern matching, which is a feature that was introduced in C Sharp 7, which allows you to test whether the, an object matches a particular pattern and then perform actions based on the result of the match. This can be useful in a variety of scenarios such as when working with collections or when processing input data. So here's an example. One of the nice things about pattern matching is that it allows you to test for multiple patterns in a single if statement. For example, this. So now ref returns and ref locals. C Sharp 7 also introduced ref returns and ref locals, which allows you for returning or referencing the same variable without creating a copy, improving performance. 
Ref returns and locals are donated by the ref keyword before the return type or variable declaration. So this is the example. In this example, the find method returns a reference to an element in an array which can be used to modify the element directly without creating a copy. Okay, now the records. Records are a new feature introduced in C-Sharp 9 that provides a concise and easy way to declare classes that are primarily used to store data. Records provide a number of benefits over traditional classes including automatic implementation of equality, immutability, and simple syntax. So here's an example. In this example, the person class is identified with using the record keyword which generates a class with properties for the constructor parameters and overrides the equals and get hash code method to provide value based equality. One of the main benefits of records is that they provide immutability by default. This means that the properties of a record cannot be modified once they are set. For example, this. Instead, we can create a new person record with the updated value. Like this. Target type new expressions. Target type new expressions allow for more concise and readable code by allowing the type of the object by creating to be inferred from the context. This means that new keyword can be used without explicitly uh, specifying the type making the code more succinct. So here's the example inferred from the context. So the last hidden feature of C sharp is top level programs. Top level programs allow developers to write console applications without the need for a classic class definition or a main method. This simplifies the code and reduces boilerplate, making it easier to write a sim read simple console application. So here's an example. In this example, the code can be run as console application without any additional class or method definitions. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned the 10 powerful features of C Sharp. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest update. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com slash start dash now. Thank you.